Hello, my name is Jack. I live in USA now and life here is exciting, but it's also expensive. The rent, the food, the transport, everything costs more than I expected. I quickly realized that I need a job to help cover my expenses. Every day I walk by shops and cafes looking for help wanted signs. One day I see a job ad in a cafe window. The cafe is looking for someone to work part time. I stop and read the sign carefully. They need someone to serve coffee, clean tables and help customers. This is perfect, I think to myself. I like coffee and I need the money. I feel excited, but then a thought crosses my mind and I start to worry. The interview will be in English and although I have been learning English for a while, I am not confident when I speak. I get nervous, my hands sweat, and sometimes I forget the right words. What if they ask me something and I don't understand, I wonder? What if I freeze and can't answer their questions? These thoughts make me anxious, and for a moment I think about not applying for the job. But then I remember something my friend Sam once told me. You won't improve if you don't try. It's okay to make mistakes. That's how we learn. I take a deep breath and say to myself, I can do this. I will ask Sam to help me prepare for the interview. That evening I meet Sam at my apartment. He's my best friend here in USA and he's always there when I need advice. Sam speaks English very well because he's lived in USA longer than I have. Sam, I say, I need your help. I have a job interview at a cafe, but it's going to be in English. I'm nervous, and I don't know if I'm ready. Sam looks at me with a reassuring smile. Don't worry, Jack, we can practice together. You'll be fine. Interviews can be scary, but I know you can do it. We sit down at my kitchen table, and Sam starts asking me interview questions. He pretends to be the cafe manager, and I practice answering in English. So Jack, Sam begins in a serious voice pretending to be the interviewer. Why do you want to work here? I think for a moment and reply, I want to work here because I like coffee and I need experience. I think working here will help me improve my English, and I'm a hard worker. Sam nods, impressed. Good answer, he says, but try to relax. Speak slowly and clearly. You have the right words, but you need to sound more confident. We keep practicing for over an hour. He asks me more questions, and I answer each one, trying to sound calm and sure of myself. We even practice what to say if I don't understand a question. Sam teaches me phrases like, could you please repeat that? Or, I'm sorry, could you explain that again? As we finish our practice, I feel a bit better, but deep down, I'm still nervous. The interview is tomorrow, and I know I have to face it. I lie in bed that night, thinking about all the things that could go wrong. What if the manager doesn't like me? What if I make too many mistakes? These thoughts swirl in my head, but I try to push them away. I need to focus on doing my best. The next morning I wake up early. I take a long shower to calm my nerves and put on my best clothes. I look in the mirror and practice smiling. I tell myself, you can do this, Jack. Just be yourself. You've prepared well. With my heart pounding in my chest, I walk to the cafe. As I approach, I see the manager standing behind the counter. He's a tall man with short hair and a serious face. I take a deep breath and remind myself of Sam's advice. Relax. Speak slowly. Hello, I say to the manager. My name is Jack. I'm here for the interview. He smiles at me and says, nice to meet you, Jack. Please have a seat. I sit down at a small table near the window. 
The manager joins me and the interview begins. He starts with a simple question. So Jack, tell me about yourself. Where are you from? I feel my hand shaking a little, but I take a deep breath and answer. I am from Germany. I moved to USA to study and improve my English. I like to work hard and I enjoy learning new things. The manager nods and smiles. That's great. Why do you want to work at this cafe? I like the atmosphere here, I say, trying to keep my voice steady. I also think that working here will help me improve my English and gain experience in customer service. He smiles again. That's a good reason, Jack. Now, tell me about your work experience. Have you worked in a cafe or restaurant before? This is the question I was worried about. I have never worked in a cafe before, but I don't want to sound unprepared. I take a moment to think before replying. I haven't worked in a cafe before, I admit, but I worked in a small shop in Germany. I helped customers clean the store and manage the cash register. The manager seems to appreciate my honesty. That's good experience, he says. Dealing with customers is a big part of this job. I feel a bit more confident now. The interview seems to be going well, but then the manager asks me a more difficult question. Jack, he says, how would you handle a difficult customer? Difficult customer. I pause for a moment, unsure of how to answer. My mind goes blank. I can feel the panic rising inside me, but I remember what Sam said. Stay calm. Take your time to think. I take a deep breath and say, if a customer is upset, I would listen to them carefully. I would try to understand their problem and find a solution. I think staying calm and being polite is very important. The manager nods approvingly. That's a good approach. In this job, you will meet many different people, so it's important to stay calm under pressure. I feel a wave of relief. I manage to answer the question without panicking. The manager asks me a few more questions about my availability and my skills, and I answer them as best as I can. Finally, the interview comes to an end. The manager stands up and shakes my hand. Thank you for coming, Jack, he says. We will call you in a few days with our decision. I leave the cafe, feeling a mixture of relief and nervousness. I'm not sure if I did well enough to get the job, but I know I did my best. As I walk home, I replay the interview in my mind. Did I make too many mistakes? Will they hire me? That evening, I meet Sam again. He's eager to know how the interview went. How did it go? He asks. I think it went okay, I say, but I'm not sure. I made a few mistakes, and there were moments when I felt really nervous. Sam smiles and pats me on the back. Don't worry about the mistakes, Jack. Mistakes are part of learning. The important thing is that you went, you tried, and you did your best. That's all anyone can ask for. He's right. I did my best, and that's what matters. The next few days feel long as I wait for the phone call. Every time my phone rings, my heart skips a beat. Finally, three days later, I get a call from an unknown number. My hands tremble as I answer. Hello, Jack. This is the manager from the cafe. I just wanted to let you know that we have decided to offer you the job. You did well in the interview, and we think you'll be a great addition to the team. I can't believe it. I got the job. I thanked the manager several times, and we discussed my start date. After I hang up the phone, I feel a rush of happiness and relief. I did it. I really did it. I call Sam right away. Sam, I got the job, I shout. 
That's amazing, Jack, he says. I knew you could do it. I feel proud of myself. The interview was hard, and I made some mistakes, but I learned that it's okay to not be perfect. What matters is trying your best, staying positive, and learning from every experience. Now I have a job, and I'm ready to work hard and improve. Moral of the story, it's not about being perfect. It's about trying, learning, and staying positive. Everyone makes mistakes, but those mistakes help us grow. When you face challenges, remember that preparation, confidence, and a positive attitude are key to success. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure you don't miss our next video. We have an exciting and engaging topic lined up to help you practice your listening skills. Click here to watch it and keep improving your English.